Covey has, on behalf of the Ministry of Municipality and Urban Planning, completed a feasibility study for transport corridors crossing the Bay of Doha. This is the video presentation of the final recommendation on how to provide a transportation link from south to north with a link to West Bay. Located to the south is New Doha International Airport, planned development areas and Messaid Industrial City. West Bay, with its skyscrapers, is the new commercial centre of Doha and will be home to the new landmark convention centre. The north of Doha is home to a number of the largest development areas in the Gulf region, namely the LaSalle development and the Pearl Qatar. Traffic master plan of Qatar has shown that the traffic network in Doha will not be able to cope with the additional traffic. Significant investments in traffic improvements, including a north to south link, is required. The Doha Bay crossing will link New Doha International Airport to West Bay and Al Kutaifia Lagoon. The method of construction is immersed tunnels. The tunnels are constructed using prefabricated segments. The submerged interchange will be constructed on site. The tunnel elements are prefabricated in a dry dock. Temporary watertight bulkheads enable the segments to float. Several segments are fabricated at a time. The dry dock is flooded and the segments floated out. The segments are fitted for submersion and towed into the tunnel alignment. Once in position, the segment is submerged like a submarine into a trench dredged into the seabed. The watertight joints between the segments are compressed by the external water pressure and post-tensioning. The trench is backfilled and the original seabed restored, leaving no permanent impact on marine life and navigational traffic. Similarly, the submerged interchange will leave no trace once constructed. Construction of the submerged interchange will be within a temporary coffer dam. This will limit the impact on marine life to the site only. The interchange is constructed inside the coffer dam. The interchange is backfilled and the coffer dam is flooded and removed. leaving the seabed as it was before construction. Inside the tunnels, closed circuit monitoring and intelligent traffic control systems will enable the control centre to detect any emergencies. A central corridor provides a safe evacuation route and rescue vehicles can access the emergency location from either end as well as from the neighbouring tube. The southern landing point is located close to the new Doha International Airport and is connected to the first of the three interchanges for the airport. This is the interchange that will connect the D-Ring Road to the new airport and also provide a link via Ras Abu Abu Street to the centre of Doha. Most of the existing interchange will remain unchanged when the link to the Doha Bay crossing is added. This is achieved by splitting the link to the centre of Doha and the link to the Doha Bay crossing outside the main interchange. The Doha Bay crossing is connected to the centre of Doha from an interchange further north on Ras Abu Abu Street, closer to the Marriott Hotel. Local access to the areas north of the main interchange is also provided via this interchange and a circular road behind the tunnel portal. After arrival at New Doha International Airport, the drive through the main interchange and into the Doha Bay crossing will set the tone for a visit to Qatar. 
The tunnel will have two by two lanes from the submerged interchange to West Bay. The tunnel entrance will be located between the Sheraton Hotel and Four Seasons Hotel. The main tunnel will remain below the interchange and surface further up Conference Centre Street, while side tunnels allow access to and from the interchange. The main tunnel will cross over the West Bay People Mover system. The interchange will allow for all movements. Around the tunnel entrance, a new landmark park and tunnel portal will signify the tunnel landing point. The tunnel will provide an additional access and exit to West Bay for traffic to and from the south. The tunnel will have two by two lanes from the submerged interchange to Al Kutafia Lagoon. The tunnel entrance will be located between Cultural Village and Intercontinental Hotel. The tunnel will connect to the highway network at the interchange next to the convention center on Al Istiklal Street. The main tunnel will emerge after this interchange further inland on Oneza Street. The interchange will have four levels, which will allow for all movements with free flow movement for traffic to and from the north into the tunnel and free flow for the north-south traffic on Al Istiklal Street. Despite the interchange having four levels, only three levels will be visible from street level and only one of these will be above ground. The top level is the flyover, taking traffic from the north into the tunnel. At street level, the interchange will allow for all movements. The traffic on Alice de Clal Street will pass underneath the interchange in cutting. The main tunnel traffic will be further down and pass underneath in the tunnel to emerge further inland on Oneza Street. The interchange will look and feel like a normal urban grade separated interchange. Existing local access is maintained. The Doha Bay crossing represents a visionary solution to the urban challenges facing a city like Doha in growth. The aesthetic aspects of and the environment in the Bay of Doha is maintained as is the navigational access. On completion, the 12 kilometer long Doha Bay crossing will be one of the longest vehicular tunnels in the world. The tunnel from the new Doha International Airport to the submerged interchange is dual three lanes with hard shoulder and the tunnel will have a total width of over 40 meters. This will be the largest cross section of any immersed road tunnel in the world. Traffic projections show that the Doha Bay crossing is one of the initiatives needed to avoid severe traffic problems in Doha in the near future. With a project the scale of the Doha Bay crossing taking many years to complete, 
it is essential that the project is allowed to begin soon.